Hi and welcome to this new video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and in this video tutorial I want to talk about IES lights in Blender and Cycles. At first we have to we have to talk about what is an IES light. Soft what is out there uh, what kind of software is out there for IES lights where you can get this IES data and then we jump to the Blender add-on and then I show you how you can use this Blender add-on to get this IES lights in, cycle, uh, in Blender and Cycles. Okay, what is IES light? The IES stands for the Illuminating Engineering Society. It is a file format, it's, in, uh, it's just a text file and it's made for trans to make a profile of a real world light to transfer this to uh, the customer or some architects. Um, as an architect you, you have, if you make an indoor design and you have to put lamps in there and you want to know how it looks like when the lamps are on or where the where it's bright or where it's dark you have to uh, use this IES files and you can put this IES files on in your software of choice like Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, 3D Max I think too and so on and IES is uh, basic. It's just a profile of a real world light. Okay, let's look at some examples. Here we have some examples of IES lights. How they work? These pictures here are coming directly out of um, a software uh, which you can use for. Um, look at the profiles before you use them. Okay, the first light has a really bright spot in the center and it fades out. <coughs> it has a very bright fall off. The next one has a, has a not so bright fall off, but it has some light street streaks. And this year as well, it has a really bright center and then it has light streaks are coming out and they have a fall off. Here you have something like a spot or for a wall or something like that. Um, <coughs> for commercial sign, advertising uh, sign, uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter a uh, picture of you, you want to lit. And this is something like a wall lamp in your living room. And this is um, a lamp for parking lot. I think something like that. Okay, now let's let's look have a look at the software uh, you can use. It's a free software and it's called the uh, Photometric Viewer, and you can get it here at photometricviewer.com and just download it, install it, and then um, we can go to. Um, let's see here. We have here the photometricview.com, and you can download it and install it. Now let's have a look at this software here. I've just opened it, and here are some profiles. I've downloaded them from the from uh, Lithonia.com, and they have uh, a bunch of these profiles here in this. Um, a little confusing um, directory structure. Um, as you can see, we have your profiles down here. You can see how it how it spreads out and where's the cone and something like that. And if you want to see how it how it looks, you can just make a right a right click with your mouse and go to render. Then you can see here the result of this profile. You can uh, adjust the brightness a little bit. A little bit you can 
shut it off or you can really crank it up to a really high level you can zoom in or zoom out you can move it and you can adjust the distance of the light and that's a really cool software you can really use this for get a Im imagination how this lamp these lamps are working and here we have another example as you can see they are really different and now let's just jump to the blender it on and here we have this post of loci or local local um sorry for that um it's uh, i found it in the blender artist forum and first i thought um, why should i use ir slides um I haven't used them in Cinema 4D and now I begin to use them in Blender uh, but the difference to Cinema 4D is you have uh, other lights and I have something, uh, it's an it's a add-on, it's from grayscalegorilla.com where you have a really cool, light, really cool lightning rigs um, which is work works really well for lightning and I don't have to use the IR lamps but in blender we have a little bit a little bit of a problem with the lightning you have a, a sun lamp you have a spot lamp the other lamps are not working right and not they how they should and you have one alternative you can um, form your own um, lamp and you can hope that it's uh, that it behaves how it how it should be um, in the basic you put a, a plane in there put a emission material on it and you move it to the side and you light your um, your objects but if you want to see the light like a sweet lamp or something like that it's really complicated to uh, get this effect just with uh, with cycles or you have to use cycles and the blender internal render and you have put them together in the compositing so uh, and IES lamps give you the opportunity to uh, not to switch between blender internal and cycles you can make this just out of the box okay here you can get the add-on here is the link and if you move a little bit more down you here are some links to lamp manufacturers um, they provide you this data and I use this one from Lithonia because they have much of them and they have them in one zip file and you can download it and extract it and you have a really uh, big library of different lightning profiles uh, the other ones I think you have to to click at the lamp then uh, on download and you have to download this one by one so I choose the Lithonia and it's all fine Okay, let's jump into Blender right now and um, you install this add-on, just go into user preferences, go to install from file and then just activate it. You, if you import this uh, add-on, you have here this add-on, just check it and then you have uh, on our export, you have uh, no, import, sorry you have IAS lamp data and just click it and go into your library may have downloaded the profile files and then you have them here and I choose something like 
choose this one here and down here you have some things to adjust you can let it like it is by def default or you can um, change this um, let us add generate rig uh, select it one and convert it to vector curves not to PNG or AXR um, and here is something um, which is really cool you can select um, which color temperature you want and for norm, normal light um, in the studio or um, outside it's the 5600 Kelvin nominal sunlight and that's that's the normal um, the default in the photography and uh, product visualization so I choose this and I import this now to cycles and then you get something like that you see here the rig and you can move this there's a li little lamp in there the point lamp and don't touch the point lamp just touch the, the rig and you can move the rig and the lamp is moving as well okay now let's just add a plane scale it by 5 <coughs> move it to here and let's just add here a wall something like that and just move the rig to here go into the wall a little bit with the, with the rig because the center of the light is here and you can move it or rotate it you can do you can position it like you want and if you go now in there I'll switch to cycles and we render it you get something like that and here it is our IS light you have here the fall off you can see here clearly the fall off of this you have here the center and if you want to adjust the brightness of this thing here you can go press just press N and go to the bottom and here you have lamp properties and here you can adjust the strength of it I adjust this to 50 and you can change the color as well let's do color to a blue and now if you render it's not so bright anymore and it's blue and that's it that is how you use IS lights sure you can put them into a lamp um, you can move the rig into the lamp and you have a real uh, cool um, realistic looking light in your scene so that's it guys I hope you are having fun with IS lights and I hope you like this tutorial and thank you for watching and goodbye